showcasing the number one meta loadout in Warzone 2 Season 5 Reloaded. Basically, just going through and telling you guys exactly what you should be running in the current meta. So, of course, stay tuned for the gameplay because we were teeing up the entire time. But real quick, I want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. Without further ado, let's hop directly into it. Ton of people to the left. I never even really fight Zoo, but I I'm heading out there right now. this guy go that's weakened was he not just in there i'm so confused with this guy just went bro meanwhile i'm doing all this and i literally have a uav in my hand am i okay just getting out of yourself you want it that bad No way, I just slid out the door into a PA. I'm safe. Yeah. There's no way that hits me through the building, right? Where's this getting? I see him. Him down. He's down. Him up. Where at? Where I see him, I see him. Guy at the bottom of my building too. Building next to me right here. Molotov is crazy if you want me to be honest. Where did my drone back just go? Him. I had this guy at the bottom right here. He was downed. Are you looted? I know, I'm, I'm literally loaded up. I thought another guy over here too. We need a UAV. Mm -hmm. I can't tell where this guy is. Another one down on the ground here. Our UAV is orbiting the area. I got me so weak. Robbie, so for I don't know how some of these gunfights I get into are so close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get melted sometimes where I feel like I like I had the first shot on the person. Those ones usually. Can't tell where this guy is either. Dude. There he is. He finally peeks the door, bro. Oh, oh he hits me with a knife. At the bottom. Insane, insane knife out of me. 
I'm coming back to that. You're vibing. I think there's a thermite. Can I, bro? I was going on a real good streak of hitting all my knives. And I'm on a real, real good streak of missing them. The last teammates over here. I think it's the same guy that was AFK, to be honest. Yeah, it is. I should just let him get it. I'm not going to follow him. I'm not going to follow him. Hopefully, his teammates come back. One guy in the buy right here. Oh, that was the same team. It's a gross little combo. M13, MP5. I feel like I'm not even talking much, bro, which is going to be bad if this turns into like a little gameplay, but I'm pretty locked in. They're beefing in this building. Oh my God. All right, I need, we need to get across the map. This is where I'm getting pings. I know UAVs are still kind of cooked, but it's the only place I'm getting pings. That team was not ready for me to land on him, bro. Oh. I got 28, William. Lock in. That is one shot. Grab this. I need a smoke to go away, bro. Oh, everyone's in this balloon right here. Do you have another UAV? Wait, no. actually, I think I do. I think I do. I'm dead. If you die, I have a flare for you. I got two flares on me. I need to go back up there and loot all those bodies I just killed, bro. I have no extra plates. How does that even happen after everybody I've killed? Why are you in the spawn, bro? I hate this game for that sometimes. I got you, I got you. Got firing range out here, bro. Are you 100%? I, I need, I'm going to try to make it to you right now. I need to try to get up and out. Remember, if you, if you die, I have a flare, so don't stress it.
I'm landing right back on him. You said you have a second one, right? Yeah. I'm dead, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, they're all over the mine and everything. It's like my best bet for right now. The frag is insane, bro. Yeah, it's time to get weird down here. <laughs> oh, it's time to get weird down here. There's just nothing I can do right there, bro. I was flowing so Holy. well the entire game. So well the entire game all the way until I got hit by a grenade launcher. But I'll take it. 40 bomb, 14k, almost 15k damage. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Dropping a 40 kill gameplay with the M13 and MP5. I'll hop directly into the class setup. Starting off with the M13. For the muzzle, we have the Cronin OP44. Giving us that vertical and horizontal recoil control. Making the M13 an absolute beam. For the tuning on the muzzle, we're completely maxing it out for the recoil stabilization. We're completely maxing it out for the recoil control. Control. Then we're tossing on the 14 inch Bruin Echelon barrel, giving you guys that damage range, bolt velocity, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy, helping out the M13 in every possible way. For the tuning on the barrel, we're doing plus 0.40 for the recoil steadiness and plus 0.40 for the damage range. And just like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% personal preference. You can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with, but for me on the M13, I felt the best with the AMOP V4. For the tuning on the optic, we're completely maxing out for the flinch resistance and we're completely maxing out for far. Then we're tossing on the 556 five, high velocity ammunition giving you guys that bolt velocity mixing in perfect with the barrel getting you guys even closer to hit scan for the tuning on the ammunition we're completely maxing out for the damage range and we're completely maxing out for the bolt velocity and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round mag increase that mag capacity making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill but overall that's my full build for the m13b in warzone 2 season 5 reloaded one of the best assault rifles in the entire game right now and like you guys saw in the gameplay we were going crazy with it so if you guys haven't already go through give the full build a try some of the highest cool game you guys get with it but let's hop directly into the mp5 loadout so of course hopping directly into the build for the mp5 starting off with the laser we have the vlk lzr7 mw giving you guys that ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed making you a whole lot faster on the map but also making you more accurate as well for the tuning on the laser we're completely maxing out for the sprint to fire speed and we're completely maxing out for the ads speed then we're tossing on the ft mobile stock which actually recently got buffed giving us that sprint speed aim walking speed crouch movement speed and ADS speed, making the Lockman sub faster in every possible way. For the tuning on the stock, we're completely maxed out for the ADS speed, and we're doing negative 1.94 for the aim walking speed. Then we're tossing on the 9mm hollow point ammunition, giving you guys that crippling power. But like I always tell you guys, the main thing with this is making it to where people's screens look crazy and to where they can't run. For the tuning on the ammunition, we're completely maxed out for the damage range, and we're completely maxed out for the bolt velocity. And of course, we gotta toss on the Lockman TCG 10 for our rear grip, giving us that recoil control, making it to where the Lockman sub is an absolute beam for the tuning on the rear grip we're doing plus 0.26 for the recoil steadiness and negative 0.35 for the sprint to fire speed and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 40 round mag increase that mag capacity but also holding on to a little bit more mobility compared to the 50 round drum mag but overall that's my full build for the lockman sub aka the mp5 smg in warzone 2 season 5 reloaded just a perfect combo weapon for the m13 and you guys saw in the gameplay i was flying around the map with it so if you guys haven't tried this build yet make sure you guys go through and give the entire build a try and tell me the high school game you guys get with it. But that's it for the loadout.